This is a video for Club Contessa. <clears throat> well, girls, we've just had our, uh, our best event of the year so far. We took Contessa all the way back to Aiken to do the four-star short uh, this weekend, which is her final run before the Kentucky five-star. And uh, Sadly, they sort of changed the calendar, the eventing calendar around, which sort of forced us to ship her all the way back south to, uh, to compete at... Um, stable view we sort of ideally you'd love to run the horses either three or four weeks before their five stars so our, our two options was sarasota in florida which was last week at terra nova or this week uh, in uh, in south carolina stable view and uh it was a good track um steph took her down there a day early um and she arrived and had one rest day of just hacking with steph and then i arrived on thursday afternoon and I did a dressage ride, and she put in a great dressage test. She scored a, a 30, which was uh, starting to get very, very competitive. Sadly, with all the shipping she's had to do uh, the last month, she's had a quite a busy march. Uh, she's lost a little bit of weight, but we're doing everything you can imagine to... Uh, to keep her to keep as much feed into her as possible she she tends to go a little bit off her grain um with the the traveling and the, all the fitness work and uh, i say that she gets about six small meals a day um but she seems in great health and like i said before we had a, a great competition obviously this was the dressage on uh friday morning and uh, she scored a 30 um again the uh the flying changes are still a little bit dodgy but by saying that we've been working very very hard on the five star test at home and that where the fo the flying changes are positioned for that dressage test are actually uh contessa finds them a little bit easier so that's uh one added bonus for heading to kentucky and then uh this weekend she uh she show jumped typically incredibly she uh, was one of the only clear rounds in the show jumping and and put in a, a nice round and the really the highlight for me on the weekend was the cross country uh, it poured and poured and poured with rain all of friday afternoon evening and, and all of saturday but by saying that the ground was very good uh, it's that sort of sandy footing and um i sort of galloped on just a little bit faster than the last two events and uh she she just she's just starting to click into gear, gear she really understood all the jumps um and uh put in just a a fantastic round of cross country uh, we had eight time penalties so i was going about five star speed i mean this is a four star short so the 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 time on the course, I think, was about six and a half minutes, and we were, I don't know, 20 seconds over the time, which was, I think, one or two horses made the time. But we weren't sort of dilly-dallying around too much, and she stayed in good control the whole way around. So I think the the training we've been putting in and the bridle that we've got on is working out really, really well. I mean, have a look at this extended trot. She's flying across the ring. And we finished fourth, and we, we beat some very, very good horses. Uh, a lot of the horses that went to the WEG were there. Uh, a couple of the Olympic horses uh, were there, and uh, really the, the best uh, horses in the country were all sort of using Stable View as their preparation event. So the show jumping was on Friday afternoon, and... Um, she was the first horse actually to get a clear round. The time was tight, so <clears throat> I probably rode her a bit too fast, to be honest. Um, my coach, Peter Wild, was there instructing me not to dilly-dally around. And the great thing with Contessa, she's so careful and sharp and um, wants to jump clear that you can sort of go a little bit faster than some of the, the other horses that you have to set up a little bit more. So Contessa will, uh, she's, she, Steph stayed there on Saturday night and she travelled home Sunday. Uh, we'll, we'll take her to the vets and get her to have a little look over on Monday, maybe a bit of a 
tune up there and uh, and then we've got, let's see, two weeks before Kentucky Five Star. So we've got Eric Devander here training us this week. I'm flying up um, a dressage judge, Peter uh, Gray, next week to run through this Five Star test. And then uh, Peter Wild will give us a, a jump school just before we leave for Kentucky. So, <clears throat> and I think I'll probably just gallop her twice. Um, she's very, very fit and... Um, I think we've got her well prepared. So anyway, not long to go now, guys, and uh, I'm uh, quietly confident.